Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the United Kingdom, around the world, and welcome to my channel. First time passing through, I hope you like what you hear. Click the thumbs up if you do, put the thumbs down if you don't, share, like, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I wanted to talk about Donald Trump's impeachment. To be honest, when I heard it, I thought, it's a load of ball. Didn't believe it. I had to ask myself, is he really, really, really impeached? I need to find out. Impeachment is just the first stage. There are two stages, so you might as well forget the fact that he is impeached. Apparently three presidents have been impeached in American history, Johnson and Clinton, and no one has been and no one has been re-elected after impeachment. I bet you well, I'm not going to bet you, but I guarantee that Trump will go down in history as being the first impeached president to be re-elected. That is my prophecy. And the reason why I say that is because the House of Representatives is run by the Democrats, the Senate is run by the Republicans, and not one Republican voted for his impeachment. And the thing is, is that when they go through the process, they're supposed to have equal votes from each house. So it's just the Democrats. What is the point of that? It's a waste of people's time, people's energy. It's just a distraction. It's just a load of hype. All this thing about Trump being impeached, it's a load of bull. He is not, okay, he's impeached in principle. This is just the first stage, like I said. There's few st two stages. Okay, what has he been impeached on? What are the articles? There's two articles that have led to his impeachment. Abuse of power and obstructing, what's it called? Obstructing Congress. Yeah. And from what I see, you know, they're not going to be able to bring witnesses. So what evidence do they have in the absence of witnesses? And can they back that evidence up with fact? That is the question. It's no point throwing all these things out there and you've got nothing to back it up. What is the point? Whether it's true or false, whether what you think to be true is true, that is not the point. How do you evidence it? How do you, how do you prove it to be true? Because that is all the Democrats have got to go on. You can't go on on emotion. You can't go on the fact that you don't like the man. It's got to be more than that. And whether or not he did something underhanded or not, how are you going to prove that? Can you prove it? That is the key issue. If you can prove it, then fine. If you can't, you're wasting people's money, time and energy. So, like I said, there's two stages of impeachment. It goes through the House of Representatives, that's the stage one. For a normal impeachment to be legitimate, you would have to have votes both in the House of Representatives, and which are the Democrats, and the Republicans, which is the Senate. And like I said, not one single Republican cast their vote for the articles of impeachment. Not one. Even if it was one, not one. So the Republicans are united. And remember I did that on video about the Conservatives in the UK. I tell you something, they, might, they could well be a minority, but the fact that they are united is what gives them strength. You've got the Democrats, which to me are equivalent to Labour, all over the bloody place. Having, you know, committed to too many, it's broken up into too many pieces. And so it loses, you know, it loses its collective effort. It loses its strength. And then if it's based on emotion, if it's all wishy-washy, what is the point it's going to be thrown out? So I'd be interested to see over these next coming weeks, I think it takes place next month, 
whether or not they have gathered evidence, because I doubt very much they, they'll be allowed witnesses. They're not going to rehash the whole, the whole thing over again. So it has to be based on the evidence they have to hand. And if they don't have it, and if they don't have facts, because you're dealing with high profile legislators, and there's no way they're going to allow their president to be impeached. No way. And then, like Labour, the Democrats look like a laughing stock because they haven't done their homework. I hope it's not true. I hope it's not true. I hope they've done their homework. And because, you know, we want justice. And if he's behaved unfairly or underhandedly, yes, he should. He should be impeached. But it cannot be guesswork. It ca you cannot be hypothesizing. It can't be speculation. I know they more or less mean the same thing, but that is what this is about. It has to be factual. It's going to go into a court of law and you have to evidence every single piece of everything that you say about Donald Trump. It has to be backed up with evidence and not hearsay and not emotional witnesses or an emotional um, um, prosecutor or whatever you want to call them. Can't be based on that. Have to be firm and strong and know what you're talking about. Because I tell you, they'd be paying millions for the best. Democrats haven't got those billions and millions to pay out. So they better have some facts. Anyway, stage two, the Senate is the one who makes the decision to keep Trump or throw him out. Now, are, is the Senate, which is full of Republicans, really going to throw out Donald Trump? I don't think so. So there's your answer. He will win a re-election. And it wouldn't surprise me if it soars through the roof. It wouldn't surprise me if it's a unanimous win. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Prophecy must fulfill. He's going to do his second term. And then we're going to have Sunday service. You watch. Do you notice how he's got all these um, Christians in, in his, um, on his team? He ain't silly. This is all planned. This is not, um, this is not an accident, peeps. This is meant to be. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Nothing. So, he's the third president to be impeached in American history. Um, the other two are Johnson and Clinton. No US president has ever won a re-election after being impeached. But you bet your bottom dollar, Trump will be. And yes, like I said, he'll go down in history as being the first impeached president to be re-elected. Um, because we have to ask ourselves, does the law support the impeachment as designed by the Constitution? So, we'll have to see what happens. The media is instrumental, people love the underdog, and so, you know, the way the, the media is hyping all of this is all deliberate. It's all deliberate. When they, when they send out a little piece of information, if they, even if they say, oh, it's leaked, it's not really leaked, you're supposed to know about it. If you're not supposed to know about it, there's no way on hell you're going to know about anything. So it's all a load of hype. And like what Trump says, it's fake news. You have to listen to Trump. Sometimes it's fake news. And the funny thing, he's so funny. Did you hear him at the Christmas rally talking about washing machines? Just like, is he cuckoo or what? Totally out of context. Dishwashers. Just like. Anyway, people find him amusing. He's very unassuming, but he's strong. People like it because he doesn't give a toss. And the Republicans like that. He goes against the grain. To the Republicans are stand by him. He could be the biggest BSer in the world. He could be the biggest philanderer. He could be the biggest racist. He could be the biggest whatever the baddest thing there is. It won't make a difference. 
Trump has already got the hearts of the people and he's got the hearts of those who have the power to keep him in. So there is nothing anybody can do. All you've got to do, I mean, if you're interested, you can watch it for the fun of it, but you already know the outcome. So I think that is all I really want to say. Bye-bye. All your comments would be appreciated. Bye-bye.